Welcome back to the second installment of WCPoet.com's six-part series previewing the 2010 fall sports season. This morning we are joined by women's soccer head coach Nicole Gervais and sophomore back Brianne Yamada. Brianne, first question for you. Last year you were a first-team all-conference performer. You're the only returning all-conference performer to this team. So what are your expectations individually going into the season? Um, coming back as a returner, I have the same expectations to come in and work hard and give it my all and um, I'm excited to play with our returning defenders and all the new recruits we have. And Coach, you started talking about the team and as far as the team goes, you're entering your fourth season with the Poets. Your team has grown since your first season, both in numbers and talent wise. So what type of potential does this group have? Um, the Sky X are a really tough conference and so playing teams that are constantly ranked in the top 25 is a challenge. but. Um, it's been fun to have the new talent that comes in each year be better than it was the year before. So this year we have a lot of kids that have, every single one of our players has played since they were four or five years old. Um, and it just means that now we're starting to balance ourselves out with everyone else. So it'll be a good fight. Now, Brianne, you were a rookie last season. You are a sophomore, still very young, but you are considered a veteran coming back to the team. Now, what advice, if any, have you offered uh, newcomers to the, to the team just as far as getting through an entire collegiate season? Um, I think together as a team we've all talked about and um, coming in and giving it our all and everyone just working hard consistently. So hopefully we can start off with a great season. Coach, let's talk a little bit about the competition you all face this year. In addition to your full Skyhack schedule, you have a home and home with Marymount, Marymount and Soka. You have a road game against Chapman and a home game here against Mississippi College. Let's just talk a little bit about the competition. Sure. Um... Marymount and Soka are both NAIA, so they're offering scholarships to, te to kids, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Mississippi College comes from, uh, they play some other teams that are in our greater region, um, but I don't really know how that'll go. So it'll be exciting to play someone different, like last year when we went to St. Louis and we got to see new competition. And Chapman will be on turf, and they're always a battle. They're a good, hard, tough team, so it's nice to mix it up throughout the season and add those teams in. Now last year, the, the team showed a lot of signs of promise, especially last year, the 0-0 tie with Claremont right here. How do you see your team kind of fitting in with the rest of the Sky Act? I think that it, um, each year, like we talked about before, it's been progress. So I'm excited because we've got three starting backs that are returning. We've got a strong core of midfielders, um, mostly newcomers that have come in that have been true midfielders. Um, and we've got, a return, we've got a transfer from Iowa State um, as a front runner that's come in. So hopefully the addition of these 11 new faces will be really good. Well, let's talk a little bit about the 11 new faces and the returners. Um, you have Brianne obviously on the defensive side of things, but who else in addition to her at the defensive end of the field do you expect a big season from? Uh, Hannah Cooley and Shelly Johiro are uh, the, th the two others with Yamada that are returning from our back line, and the three of them have now spent a solid season working together um, and have become tight on and off the field, which in women's sports makes a big difference, so it'll be good. And how about in the midfield? In the midfield, um, we have, like I said, a couple freshmen that have come in. We have a cross-country runner that um, Anna Edwards, who hopefully will, she's left-footed and will add to our outside midfield with the returning of Stephanie Bergstrom on the right. So we've got speed and skill and tenacity, so it should be good. Now last year at the forward, Chelsea Iroh was one of the, the fixtures up front and she actually earned Skyac Athlete of the Week honors at one point. Mm -hmm. You have her returning. Who else at the forward position? Brianna Johnson is a sophomore that's come in and um, come back in really good shape and also a left-footed player, which is key. Um, and like I said, the Iowa State Maddie Phillips um, should be great additions. And then we've got other kids that fill in the holes and, and push everybody in practice and make us a better team. All right, well, I'd like to thank both Brianne Yamada and head coach Nicole Gervais for joining us here today. The women's soccer team opens up their season on Wednesday, September 1st, as they take on Marymount at the Home Depot Center Field number 5. Their first home game is on Saturday, September 4th at 1.30 p.m. It is the second of a doubleheader we host right here at the Donald E. Graham Soccer Field. The men take on Biola at 11 a.m. Coach, Brianne, thanks again and good luck this season. Thank you, thank you Travis.